Hey guys, I was talked into making a video about how to recharge the Quadralift 2 suspension system in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So here is my setup. This is actually real easy to do once you have the stuff. First thing I did is I got a old pneumatic air hose and I got this connector from an AC recharge kit um, that came from AutoZone. It was 15 bucks or so. Um, I got myself a tank filled with nitrogen and a regulator, and I got myself a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So let's get started. The first thing I did was open the rear window. The reason I did that is because we're going to stick the hose through that window before we hook it up to the Jeep, and then we can close the door without pinching the hose off. So the Jeep won't let you operate your quadrilift suspension with a door open. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this hose into this regulator. You don't have to do this, but I happen to put a quick disconnect on it to make this whole process easier. All right, so with that hose hooked up, next thing we're going to do is back this regulator off so it's not spewing nitrogen as soon as I turn it on. I'm going to turn this on. Tighten the regulator down a little bit, open it up, and what I'm doing now is I'm purging all the air out of this hose with nitrogen. We don't want any atmospheric air to go into your tank because it could have moisture in it, and under compression, then that moisture is going to precipitate out, and now you have water sloshing around in your tank. So I'm going to do that. You can hear nitrogen coming out of this hose a little bit. So with a little bit of nitrogen coming out of there, with all the air purged, I'm going to back this regulator back off. And I'm going to hold my finger over that connector so the nitrogen stays in and the air stays out. I'm going to come over here and feed it through the window and hook it up. With the hose fed through the window, we're going to hook this connector up to the nipple on your onboard tank. So behind your driver's side seat, uh, you're going to lift this cover up. There's your tank, and right there is your nipple. So that's a little dust cover on it. We're going to remove that, and we're going to plug that connector onto that nipple. And there we go. Connector's on. We're going to close the door and start the engine. Okay, engine is running. Hose is hooked up. Tank is turned on here. Now I'm just going to turn the regulator in until we get to, I'd go to about 150 PSI, 175. We're watching the left hand regulator, which is the low pressure one. It was already at 150 because I did not need a charge, but it doesn't hurt to overdo it a little bit. Your system will vent any overpressure. You can actually hear it doing that if you put too much in. So I'm going to leave that right there at about 180 PSI. You can hear the gas coming through the hose, so it is charging a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through, with that gas turned on, I'm going to run through all the different drive heights. I don't know if this part is necessary, but I also don't think it hurts. So right now we're in regular drive mode. I'll hit up. We're raising up. I'll hit up another time and then we'll go back down, probably go to park mode, maybe go back up again, just run through them. So as I do this I can actually hear gas going into the onboard cylinder, so that's a pretty good sign that I'm filling it up. Alright, we're back in normal drive mode, I'm going to kill the engine. I'm going to turn the gas off, I'm going to disconnect the hose, and that's that. You'll hear whatever charge that's left in this um, hose come out. Oh yeah, before I uh, don't mention it, don't forget to put your dust cap back on. So, you'll hear the extra gas come out here, nothing to worry about. The hose depressurizing. Alright guys, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.